Today is Memorial Day, and if you attend or work in a school named Memorial High School, then the day has a special meaning for you. Memorial Day is the occasion created to remember and pay tribute to those Americans who served their country as members of the Marines, Army, Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard, and are no longer alive to celebrate this day. War and Remembrance is the theme of a short poem we are about to read. The narrator in this poem is a soldier currently serving in the military. Our poem begins. I can live through the cold and the being alone, away from my family, my house and my home. I can stand at my post through the rain and the sleet. I can sleep in a foxhole with little to eat. I can carry the weight of killing another or lay down my life for my sister and brother. It's my duty to stand at the front of the line that separates you from the darkest of times. For when we come home, either standing or dead, to know you remember we fought and we bled is payment enough. And with that, we will trust that we matter to you as you you matter matter to to us. us. The sacrifices borne by the soldier in the poem, leaving his family, his surroundings, and facing hardships to keep his country safe. These are the same burdens, the same sacrifices that we have always asked of members of our military. For generations, members of the American military have stood at the line that has separated our country from the very darkest of times. The soldier in the poem said, To know you remember is payment enough. And that is the purpose of Memorial Day, to remember sacrifices made and make good on that payment. In the lobby of our school is a memorial to the citizens of West New York who were killed in the Great War, the war we call World War I. It is this memorial, a tribute to those West New Yorkers who sacrificed their lives for our freedom, that gives our school its name. We would like to read their names as part of our Memorial Day observance. They are... Michael Anastasia, Walter L. Cogswell, Luigi Diocio, George Gowdy, Stanley Kowal, George N. Nassau, Thomas N. Stanwick, Frank Warwick, Samuel Adderley, William J. Brennan, Charles A. Cusick, George V. Ellis, Alexander V. Greer, Isidore Lapatka, Hyman L. Nassau, Francis Sully, Salvatore Trivastone, Victor C. Weiss, Raphael Agresta, William Buell, Theodore R. Dellinger, Charles Fenster, Joseph H. Hearn, Joseph D. Murphy, Pasquale A. Strongarone, Herman A. Sutter, Henry Warkamp. Beyond its real meaning as a day to honor America's war dead, Memorial Day signals the unofficial start of the summer season. We know that there will be parades, trips to the beach, backyard barbecues, and sales at stores. But on Monday, we ask you to honor and remember the sacrifices made by our fallen veterans. Please rise for the playing of taps.
Thank you and have a safe Memorial Day.